What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be reasons why the GMT 800 is one of the best old trucks you can buy. And if you want to check out the video after this one, it's going to be a sequel to this video. It's going to be reasons why you shouldn't buy one of these trucks and everything wrong with them. But we're going to go over the good in this video why you should own one. So this right here is a 2003 GMC 2500 HD 60 Vortec four wheel drive. Um, if you don't know, they made these in a regular 2500 and a 2500 HD. The HD, it's got this big uh, frame on it and I think a better rear end. I'm not sure what else. But anyways, there's regular 2500 then there's this one. And if you get a Duramax, then it has to be the HD. Duramax don't come in the regular. But, uh, yeah. So you can pick up these trucks. 1500, 2500, 3500, whatever. And uh, we're going over gassers, pretty much, because I don't have any Duramax experience. But I hear LBZs are pretty good. So if you're looking for this body style Duramax, I'd probably go with the LBZ over the any other of them. But this is about the gassers, uh, the 6053, pretty much all these engines in this you can get in this generation. They're good engines. They're super reliable. Um, I've beat on them, redlined them, overloaded them, and haven't had any engine issues. I uh, had some overheating issues, you know, stuff like that. Radiators and hoses blowing off a couple times, but nothing major. I've had these engines, you know, so overheated that they sound like they're about to explode sound blown up and terrible and you know they just keep on going after you fix it just fine so they can take a beating they can be overheated and keep on going this one has 185,000 miles on it uh it had like 167,000 a couple years ago but i put quite a bit of miles on it um and they weren't easy miles Frame. I spray painted that back here. I got to finish the rest of the frame, but I got that done. Anyways, the bodies on these trucks, super tough. Rust, that's a different story. This truck has absolutely zero rust. Like, that's actually solid. Pretty rare, but bodies are pretty tough. Like, you come over here, the Fords from this generation, the steel body Fords, they're just flimsy. These are just like solid tough tailgates we'll go over that in the things i hate video anyways i'm getting distracted here sorry if this video is crappy but um yeah if you do get these trucks try to get it in a 2500 uh because the transmission is a lot better 4l ade but they're just great trucks you can pick them up pretty cheap uh maybe under 5,000 for a decent one if you get lucky I gotta put this piece back in the seat and put a seat cover over it. Here's the interior, leather, heated seat. See how, this is another reason why these trucks are good. Look how fancy this interior is for an 03. You can get memory seats, heated seats, dual climate control, and the Bose sound system is pretty good also. This truck has a blown transmission currently from a raw dog and abuse. The 4L ADE trans is supposed to be good, I heard, but uh, this one blew up at 185, but this truck's towed heavy and been beat, so it's not that bad. But 185K on it. Not bad, this is a really solid, good driving truck. But um, they're just cheap and easy to work on. Like you can work on these trucks cheap, all the parts are cheap, readily available. There's so many accessories for these trucks. So many options, lights, lift kits, it's all easy, front end works, easy to change. There's just so much options with these trucks and they're just great trucks. They sound good, you can build the engines in them. Tailpipe fell off.
gooseneck. Who would tow a gooseneck with a gasser? Well, I guess this truck would. I pulled the bed caps off because uh, they were all ripped and cracking up. It had a bed mat on it I took off. That bed was absolutely clean, perfect, but uh, just from scraping tools across it. And uh, this truck will still move. It has a blown transmission, but it'll still move. So I moved it down there, filled in some gravel in the driveway the other day. Had some gravel on the bed. Tailgate scratch is pretty easy, so that's a shame. But uh, it's got these holes in it where the bed mat is. I don't really like that. Tailgate handle. I wish I didn't screw into the tailgate. I wish I just got a new handle on it, but was impatient. Broke the clips on that one. But yeah, there you have it. Uh, final verdict. These are just great trucks. They're reliable, cheap, easy to work on. A lot of options. And uh, yeah, if you're uh, looking for a good, cheap work truck or daily driver and you don't want to spend a ton of money, then this would be a great option. Um, I hope this video doesn't suck, but uh, I'll start making better videos here soon and really up the quality, up my filming skills, up the editing and all that. So uh, hopefully this video was decent. But uh, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, check out the next video. Um, and the next video might be a little exaggerated um, on stuff I hate, so don't take offense from it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.